What's up guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA Thursday, April 29th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm going to go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, we have a six game slate tonight. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Kyle Lowry from the Toronto Raptors playing the Denver Nuggets who have a middle of the pack defense overall. And although they've been pretty good versus opposing point guards, Kyle Lowry has averaged 35.1 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 21% usage rate. He scored 34, 31, and 28 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 37, 33, and 36 minutes. He's projected at 35.7 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.6 times value. He's 6,400 FanDuel salary and 700 more on DraftKings. He scored 28, 31, and 34 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Nuggets. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 224.5 points scored in this game. So I like Kyle Lowry, especially on FanDuel here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, another point guard that I like. I'm going to give you a value play here. Jamal Murray is out. So I like Facundo Campazzo. Facundo Campazzo from the Denver Nuggets playing the Toronto Raptors, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the 12th most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Campazzo has scored 46, 25, and 35 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 30, and 33 minutes. He's projected at 19.7 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 25 fantasy points or more and get you over five times value. He's 4,600 FanDuel salary, and he's the same price on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 224.5 points scored in this game, so I like Facundo Campazzo here versus the Toronto Raptors. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. I like D'Angelo Russell from the Minnesota Timberwolves playing the Golden State Warriors, who have the 11th worst defense overall, and they give up the 10th most fantasy points to opposing shooting guards. D'Angelo Russell has averaged 31.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 28 minutes per game with a 30% usage rate. He scored 30, 47, and 32 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 29, 30, and 30 minutes. He's projected at 32.2 fantasy points here tonight. That's 4.7 times value. But I do think he can score 35 fantasy points or more and get you five times value or more. He's 6,900 FanDuel salary, and he's 200 less on DraftKings. I like this pick because he scored 29, 39, and 43 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Warriors, and Vegas thinks there's going to be 234.5 points scored in this game, so I like D'Angelo Russell here versus the Golden State Warriors. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Okay, another shooting guard that I like, kind of a hit or miss pick here. 
It's a lot of risk in this pick, but he could smash value. I like Josh Jackson from the Detroit Pistons playing the Dallas Mavericks, who have a good defense overall, and they've been pretty good versus opposing shooting guards. And Josh Jackson has averaged 24.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 25 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. He scored 20 and 38 fantasy points in his last two games, playing 27 in 31 minutes. He's projected at 26.8 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he can score 30 fantasy points or more and get you over five times value. He's 5,600 FanDuel salary, and he's 200 more on DraftKings. He scored 25, 26, 19, and 32 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Mavericks, and he scored over 30 fantasy points in two out of his last four games, so I'm giving him a 50 to 60% chance to score 30 fantasy points or more here and crush value, so I like Josh Jackson here versus the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Kevin Porter Jr. from the Houston Rockets playing the Milwaukee Bucks, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and although they've been pretty good versus opposing small forwards, Kevin Porter Jr. has averaged 29 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 25% usage rate. He scored 20 fantasy points in 35 minutes last game. He's projected at 29.6 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.3 times value. He's 5,600 FanDuel salary, but he's 1,400 more on DraftKings. So it's probably a FanDuel only play for me. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 232.5 points scored in this game. So I like Kevin Porter Jr. on FanDuel here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, another small forward that I like. This is a DraftKings play for you. I like O'Shea Brissett from the Indiana Pacers playing the Brooklyn Nets, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall, and they give up the ninth most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. O'Shea Brissett, he scored 52, 24, and 30 fantasy points in his last three games, playing 39, 30, and 38 minutes. He's projected at 28.7 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score over 30 fantasy points. Now on FanDuel, that's only 4.2 or 4.5 times value if he gets 30 fantasy points. So I'm not going to play him on FanDuel because he's 6,800 FanDuel salary, but he's 1,500 less on DraftKings. So that would be over five times value on DraftKings. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 239.5 points scored in this game. So I like O'Shea Brissett on DraftKings here versus the Brooklyn Nets. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Isaiah Stewart from the Detroit Pistons playing the Dallas Mavericks, who have a good defense overall, and they give up the 13th most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. Isaiah Stewart, he scored 32, 25, and 27 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 27, 19, and 28 minutes. Now, I'm not sure why he's projected at 37 fantasy points here tonight. Probably going to have to bring that down a little bit, but he only needs to score about 28 fantasy points here to get you five times value or more. He's 5,900 FanDuel salary, and he's 100 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 215.5 points scored in this game. So I like Isaiah Stewart here versus the Dallas Mavericks. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the position optimizer where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new player trends tool where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet 
that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, another power forward that I like is Christian Wood from the Houston Rockets playing the Milwaukee Bucks, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall, and although they've been pretty good versus opposing power forwards, Christian Wood has averaged 39.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 26% usage rate. He scored 54 and 46 fantasy points in the last two games, playing 37 in 37 minutes. He's projected at 40.7 fantasy points here tonight. I think he can score 43 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's 8,400 fan duel salary, and he's 200 less on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 232.5 points scored in this game. So I like Christian Wood here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, moving on to the center position. I like Carl Anthony Towns from the Minnesota Timberwolves playing the Golden State Warriors, who have the 11th worst defense overall, and they give up the 7th most fantasy points to opposing centers. Carl Anthony Towns has averaged 47.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 29% usage rate. He scored 45, 36, and 42 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 31, 36, and 37 minutes. He's projected at 47.8 fantasy points here tonight, which is just about five times value. He's 9,700 fan duel salary and 400 more on DraftKings. Vegas thinks there's going to be 234.5 points scored in this game, so I like Carl Anthony Towns here versus the Golden State Warriors. Okay, another center that I like, especially on DraftKings, is Kem Birch from the Toronto Raptors playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall, and although they've been pretty good versus opposing centers, Kem Birch has he scored 34, 35, and 27 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 32, 29, and 32 minutes. So now on DraftKings, he only has to score 25 fantasy points to get you five times value. He's 5,900 fan duel salary, and he's 900 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. Vegas thinks there's going to be 224.5 points scored in this game. So I like Kem Birch here versus the Denver Nuggets. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.